From our fellow Catholics, best wishes. We are delighted to have you return to our channel. I hope you have a wonderful day in Christ. In order to keep up with the most recent information, we hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take a trip with us and watch this film through to the conclusion. Humanity has received a deep revelation from the Virgin Mary, a direct and unmistakable warning about the end of the world that cannot be disregarded. Her remarks urge serious introspection and a substantial shift in our lifestyle. This is a sobering reminder that people who ignore her warnings might not make it through the difficulties that lie ahead. Are you prepared to pay attention, comprehend, and get ready for what is ahead? The specifics of this pressing revelation from the Mother of God will be discussed in this video, along with how it may affect your life now and in the future. Stay with us if you're looking for answers and you think the world is in a state of uncertainty. Only those who are prepared to open their hearts and answer the Virgin Mary's appeal will find a way of hope and direction in her teachings. We encourage you to interact with us in the comments section before we start. We would love to see how this message is spreading around the world, so please let us know where you are viewing from. Please feel free to send your heartfelt words, requests to the Virgin Mary, or private prayers. Your involvement can encourage and uplift those who are also looking for peace and comfort in this area, which is a meeting point for unity, faith, and hope. The Virgin Mary has shown up for humanity in times of need throughout history, providing heavenly support and direction. She calls for conversion and the pursuit of peace in her appearances, which have been like beacons of light in the dark from Lourdes to Fatima and most recently in Medjugorje, a strong and urgent message reminding the world of the necessity of returning to God and choosing the path of love is sent by each of these apparitions. However, the words of the Virgin Mary are not merely consoling, they are also cautionary. As the world becomes more unpredictable every day, these cautions become more pertinent. The Virgin Mary has often called on humanity to repent and warned of terrible repercussions if her teachings are disregarded. Her remarks serve as a reminder that the challenges we face are an opportunity to reaffirm our faith and our relationship with God, not their conclusion. The message of the Virgin Mary is one of spiritual readiness. She recognizes humanity's problems and challenges and provides a way forward, but only if we are prepared to pay attention and take action. Her message about the end times is especially pressing. Children, before the challenges start, I call you to a period of transformation, to return to the love of the Father. In order for peace to prevail, the world needs your prayers and your open hearts, she says. This maternal appeal serves as a warning as well as a guide. The Virgin Mary desires that her children be prepared spiritually for the difficulties that lie ahead. Once believed to be exclusive to small local groups, her appearances have now reached millions of people worldwide through testimonies and stories. Her message is for all of humanity, not just those who are directly affected by these tragedies, as seen by its worldwide impact. Her remarks compel us to consider our lives, decisions, and religious practices. She provides advice because she is aware of the weight we bear and the concerns that consume our hearts. However, she makes it obvious that now is the time to get ready. We cannot afford to wait until the last minute since everyone will face difficulties and only those who are ready spiritually will be able to endure them. The significance of prayer is one of the main themes in the message of the Virgin Mary. She constantly exhorts us to pray for others as well as for ourselves. She asserts that our prayers have the capacity to transform the world and illuminate even the most gloomy spirits. My children, pray fervently. Allow your prayers to be an honest conversation with the Father. Every word you speak has the capacity to move God's heart and reach heaven. Please offer up prayers for people who lack faith and are unaware of my son's love. Your prayers may be the link that illuminates the souls who are still in the dark. This call to prayer is not merely a recommendation. It is an essential step in being ready for the challenging times that lie ahead. The Virgin Mary serves as a reminder that prayer is a direct line of communication with God and a means of finding strength and serenity in the midst of chaos. We let God's grace into our lives by opening our hearts in prayer. However, the Virgin Mary calls us to conversion in addition to prayer. She exhorts us to examine our lives, pursue spiritual rejuvenation, and live in conformity with God's plan. Now, as the Virgin Mary speaks to the world once more, she exhorts us to avoid making the same mistakes we have in the past. 
Her cautions speak to the most profound aspects of our souls and transcend worldly worries. Ignoring her message could result in a loss of hope, spiritual emptiness, and a separation from God. People run the risk of feeling lost and empty during trying times if they simply focus on the here and now and ignore the eternal. The Virgin Mary serves as a reminder that material possessions are insufficient to weather life's storms. The Spirit is the source of true strength, and only those who answer her call will find it. The Virgin Mary's message is fundamentally one of choice. We all have to choose between turning away and running the risk of becoming lost in the shadows of uncertainty or answering her call and walking in the light. The decision is straightforward. Either we disregard the warning and confront the upcoming challenges without the spiritual fortitude we need to endure, or we prepare ourselves spiritually through prayer, conversion, and love for others. There is hope for a better future for those who listen and open their hearts. However, the road ahead may be desolate and lonely for those who decide to disregard. The Virgin Mary highlights three essential practices, prayer, almsgiving, and humility, to meet the obstacles that lie ahead. In addition to preparing us spiritually, these activities deepen our relationship with God. As previously said, prayer is a direct line of communication with God and a source of strength and serenity. However, the Virgin Mary also exhorts us to be charitable, to be a light to those in need, and to assist those who are suffering. She serves as a reminder that genuine wealth comes from loving others more than from having material belongings. Help people who are in pain. Spread the love that my son brought into the world and offer assistance to those who are lost. The affection you give and the assistance you provide to others are what truly constitute wealth. In a world in dire need of hope, charity enables us to be agents of God's peace and draws us closer to Him. Being humble is also essential when getting ready for the end of the world. The Virgin Mary exhorts us to live modestly, to put the world's earthly possessions aside, and to concentrate on the eternal. By doing this, we ready our hearts to accept God's grace and to bravely and firmly confront the challenges that lie ahead. The Virgin Mary concludes by issuing one more call to action. We must remain alert and prepared for everything that may arise. This attentiveness is about remaining spiritually strong and rooted in faith, not about living in terror. We will have the serenity and self-assurance to handle any difficulties that arise if we heed her advice. I appreciate you joining me on this adventure. This investigation is significant and powerful because of your participation and presence. May the shared tales of our human experience inspire and uplift you until the next time.